Hey everybody, welcome to Cadence to Kitchen. I am Jenny and this is my video vlog that is all about cycling and cooking. And today I'm going to show you how to make a really fun vegetable. We are going to cook a spaghetti squash. You may or may not have had this before. If you've never had it, you're going to be absolutely intrigued and have a new favorite vegetable when we're done. I had posted pictures of a spaghetti squash I had done a couple of weeks ago and a friend said, you know, I've always wanted to cook that but I don't know how to pick it out at the store and I don't know how to cook it. So I'm going to show you just that today. So let's start with our spaghetti squash. This looks a lot like a melon. Um, it's going to be have a nice yellow color to it. I have actually seen the, the um, spaghetti squash and butternut squash mislabeled in the grocery store. So before you go, make sure you know what the spaghetti squash looks like. It's going to look like a nice yellow melon. It should not have any green on it. That ensures that it is ripe. And it should be pretty heavy for its size as well. So that's our little spaghetti squash we're going to cook. Our tools that we're going to need today are a good sharp chef's knife, a cutting board, a spoon and a bowl to scrape out the insides of the squash, and then a cookie sheet or roasting tray. Now you'll notice here I have my uh, cookie sheet lined with some parchment paper. That is an optional item, but I will tell you it's going to make my pan cleanup a whole lot easier having this parchment paper on here. So just make sure when you are going to the store and you're getting paper to get parchment and not wax paper. Wax paper can actually catch on fire, so you want to make sure you are using parchment. It's perfectly safe uh, for baking and roasting on. Now, I have my oven already preset to 400 degrees, so all it's waiting on is for us to get this yummy squash in the oven. So, anytime you are cutting um, a vegetable that is circular in shape, you know, it could roll around on the cutting board and when you've got a really sharp knife in your hand you don't want that to happen. So what I like to do is very carefully cut off the top of my squash and I will tell you probably the hardest thing about cooking a spaghetti squash is cutting it in half. These are pretty tough but if you've got a good knife and a little bit of elbow grease you'll be able to do it. So I cut the top off so that I can stand this up flat. I'm not going to have to worry about it rolling around now while I'm trying to cut it in half. And when you cut the spaghetti squash in half, you want to cut it in half along the axis. So you're going to cut this lengthwise. I'm going to take my knife now and I'm going to run it down the middle. Get right in there. Cut that squash right in half. Now, as you can see on the inside, it looks a lot like a pumpkin. If you've ever carved a pumpkin as a little kid or I'm a grown-up and I still like to carve a pumpkin, but this is going to have lots of seeds and membranes inside. So what you want to do is you just want to take a spoon and you want to just scrape all this out. And scrape it out into your scrap bowl. And scrape all those out. And this actually smells a lot like a pumpkin. So if you've never had spaghetti squash before, it has a little milder flavor than pumpkin. Um, it tastes more like a squash than a pumpkin. So what I'm going to do, I actually have two halves over here that are ready to go, that are scraped clean. As you can see, I've got all of the seeds and membrane out of my spaghetti squash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this cut side down. Again, I put it cut side down on my cookie sheet and put the other half on here. Now, the reason we want to cook this cut side down is that the moisture from the spaghetti squash is going to sort of develop some steam inside here. And by having the skin side up, it's going to hold that steam in there and really cook our squash for us. So this is ready to go in the oven. I'm going to pop it in the oven and then I'll come back shortly to show you how to test to see if it's done. Okay, so I just pulled our spaghetti squash out of the oven and I'm going to show you how to test to see if it's ready. So using a nice thick oven mitt or kitchen towel, you can gently squeeze on squash. If they're still pretty firm, they're not quite ready. These, I can tell, are not quite ready. When it's ready, it will be a little bit soft and you'll be able to make some little indentions uh, with your hand when you squeeze on the squash. So we're going to pop these back in the oven for a few more minutes. Okay, so I hope you can see all of the steam that's coming up from the spaghetti squash. I just took these out of the oven. I'm um, using my oven mitt. I squeezed the outside. I could tell that they were um, nice and soft, so they are ready to go. And I'm going to show you how to get the squash 
out of the shell. And again, you want to um, have a, an oven mitt, a nice heavy duty oven mitt, or a towel so you can get this hot potato in your hand. And if you've never cooked a spaghetti squash or seen this, be prepared to be amazed. So what you're going to do, you're going to take the hot spaghetti squash and just a simple fork and you're going to grip the squash and rake the tines along the inside of the squash. Can you see the noodles that are coming up out of there? Looks just like spaghetti, right? I will tell you the first time I cooked a spaghetti squash, I was amazed that it really did come out looking like spaghetti. Now, if you've never had it, you're probably wondering, okay, but does it taste like spaghetti? Well, no, it doesn't taste like spaghetti, but you get that same sort of, um, I don't know, feeling that you get when you're eating a big plate of pasta, I guess, without all of the carbs and calories. So one reason I love this recipe is that I think it's perfect um, maybe during the off season when I really want a big plate of pasta and I don't really want a carb load. This is a great recipe. It is also a great recipe because the spaghetti squash, you can cook this ahead of time, put it in the refrigerator along with some sauce. So you come home from a long ride, a long run, a hard day at work, and you got dinner ready. All you gotta do is pull it out of the fridge and heat it up. So I hope you're able to see all these delicious noodles, if you will, that are coming up out of our spaghetti squash. Let me, uh, let me move this over here so you can get a good, good look at all those delicious noodles. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finish scraping up our two spaghetti squash halves here, and when I'm done with that, I'm gonna show you how to plate it up, and then I'm gonna eat. Okay, well I have all of my delicious spaghetti squash removed uh, from the shell. It's still nice and hot. And I like to add just a little bit of simple seasoning to it. I have um, just some sea salt here, and this is actually a Himalayan pink sea salt that uh, is delicious. So put a little salt in there. I'm gonna do a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. I love fresh cracked pepper. And then, as you would with regular spaghetti, a little bit of olive oil. Just really wanna coat it up quite nice, the olive oil. I'm just gonna take my fork and just gonna kinda gently fold the olive oil, the salt and pepper, right into our spaghetti squash. That looks delicious. Okay, now I'm gonna transfer this to my serving plate. And you would never know that was, wasn't pasta, would you? Looks just like a big heaping plate full of spaghetti. That looks fantastic. Okay, let's finish this off. I'm gonna add a scoop of some homemade tomato sauce. Now I made this a few weeks ago and put it in the freezer because when you're making sauce, it's just as easy to make a whole lot as it is to make just a little. And it freezes quite well for some quick delicious meals. Need a little bit of fresh grated Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna use our micro plane to grate that cheese right up on there. Because you can't have spaghetti without Parmesan cheese, right? It smells so good. And this is a great um, side dish or a great uh, meatless main dish. So a couple of options there on how you serve it and eat it. And last but not least, we need a little bit of garnish. And I've got just here some fresh basil leaves. I'm gonna roll up like a little cigar and do like a little fine chiffonade. I'm just gonna sprinkle that over the top. And there is our delicious plate of spaghetti squash. I'm gonna dig in because I'm starving and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for joining. So if you've got a recipe that you want to see made on Cadence to Kitchen or you have a cycling question, you can send me a message on Twitter at Cadence to Kitchen. That's Cadence, the number two, and then Kitchen. Or send me a message on Facebook.com forward slash Cadence to Kitchen. Thanks for watching and I'll either see you in the kitchen or on the trail.